Why does your Tesla have a 12 volt battery when it has access to a gigantic battery under the floorboard of the car? I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and we'll attempt to answer that question in the first video in my series called Understanding Your 12 Volt Battery. If you're like a lot of car owners, then you probably don't pay that much attention to what's under the hood. Now, obviously, the big difference between an EV and a gas-powered car is the lack of an engine. But when you pop the front of your Tesla, you still have access to things like brake fluid, washer fluid, and yes, even a 12-volt battery. For some, it may have come as a surprise that their Tesla even has a 12-volt battery, especially since there is a high-volt battery that could easily provide all the energy you need for your 12-volt systems. But there is a reason Tesla doesn't do this. Now, when the first gen Roadster was designed, it actually didn't have a 12 volt battery. Instead, there was a DC to DC converter used to take energy from the main battery and power the 12 volt system, such as the headlights, turn signals, and the media controls, just to name a few of a lot of things. Now, the problem with that is if the high volt battery needed to be powered down, such as after an accident, all of the 12 volt systems shut down as well as safety features like the hazard lights no longer worked. Now this is one of the reasons why a 12 volt battery was added to the Gen 2 Roadster and every other Tesla up to this point. Okay, great. So the 12 volt battery in my Tesla must be lithium ion like my high volt battery, right? Nope. Much like that of a gas powered car, your Tesla has a lead acid 12 volt battery. However, it uses what's known as absorbed glass mat or AGM. Now, honestly, there's no need to go into exactly what that means, but simply put, the design of the AGM battery is better suited for Teslas. The 12 volt battery in a gas car is used primarily to give a jolt of high current energy for a few seconds to turn over the engine. Once it's started, the 12 volt battery really isn't used that much since the alternator powers the 12 volt accessories in the car. Now, even when the gas car is powered off, it doesn't need much energy from the battery. Now, if you were to use this type of battery in a Tesla, it wouldn't last very long, at best, maybe a few months. Now, this is where the aforementioned AGM battery comes into play. Since Tesla doesn't need to turn over a gas engine and doesn't have an alternator, it needs to use a 12 volt battery to power the 12 volt systems. And not to mention the fact that the car still needs to use the battery even when it's not in use, like sentry mode, unlocking the car, and being able to turn everything on quickly once you enter the car. Now, this will mean more charging cycles, and the particular AGM battery used in your Tesla is specifically designed to be repetitively charged and discharged on a regular basis. AGM batteries are also sealed, meaning there won't be any liquid spills or corrosion. So now you might be asking what parts of the Tesla use the 12 volt battery? Well, rather than bore you with a long list, let's take a look at what doesn't use it and uses the high volt battery pack instead. Now, obviously the motors, the air conditioning and cabin heater, the battery coolant heater used in the Model S and X, and the DC to DC converter for charging the 12 volt battery. Everything else is using the 12 volt battery. Now, when the 12 volt battery starts getting low, the main battery pack will charge it by using the DC to DC converter. This is the only way it will be charged even when the car is plugged in. Now to help explain it further, if the DC to DC converter fails, the 12 volt battery won't be able to be charged. This also helps explain phantom drain of the main battery pack. Now on to that dreaded moment, you get the alert from the car that your battery needs to be replaced. Now in a perfect world, you would get the alert and you would have two weeks or more to schedule an appointment to have it replaced. Now, this is actually the way it's supposed to work. Your Tesla is able to detect when the battery is going bad and gives you the warning. However, sometimes it doesn't quite work out that way. For example, before I received any kind of alert from my battery, it ended up draining to a point that the screen wouldn't turn on and I wasn't able to put it in drive or reverse. Now, the outcome of this story will be in the next video of this series, but the majority of Tesla owners will get the warning and will have time to take care of the issue at hand. 
So that's a basic look as to why Teslas need a 12 volt battery. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this mini series about the 12 volt battery. In my next video, I will share with you my experience and why I feel I may have actually missed a warning sign my 12 volt battery was starting to fail. That being said, I would love to hear your stories. How long did your battery last? Did you have plenty of warning or were you left stranded? Well, thank you all so much for watching and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.